excited because today we are finally doing some furniture shopping. It's crazy how expensive sofas and bed frames and all that stuff is. I've been really wanting to go to this outlet for Pottery Barn that is in Alameda. So we are on our way there right now and I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that we find some gems for a really good deal. So I'm planning on showing you guys what the warehouse looks like and if we find something. So let's do it. We're about to pull up. It literally looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. Like it's pretty hidden within these warehouses. Okay, my map took me the wrong way, but we found it. Okay, this is what the front looks like. It looks huge. I am so excited. And it's awesome. It says Pottery Barn, William Sonoma, West Elm. Oh my god. Here we go. Look, even right when we walk in already, it says 70% off. Wow. All right. I see lots of couches, chairs. Oh my god, where to even start? Right now, all the sofa sectionals, chairs, and ottomans are 40% off. That's what we like to see. We also got a bunch of rugs in the center. Pretty cool. Okay, we found this one and it is beautiful. I love it. It doesn't open up to be a sleeper, but the color, the shape, everything is just chef's kiss. All right, we just found all these chairs right here that are only a hundred dollars. Like, that's awesome. Okay, so it's been a week since we went to the Pottery Barn outlet and I have to fill you all in on everything that's happened. My camera did die when we were at the outlet so I couldn't film the moment where we measured the dream couch and it was too big for our space. So unfortunately, we didn't get the couch and since the couch didn't work out, we decided to pass on the chair because shipping the chair from Alameda to San Francisco was going to be more expensive than the actual chair itself. Unfortunately, we didn't end up picking anything up at Pottery Barn but it gets better, just wait. The very next day, we ended up looking online, trying to find a couch. I ended up looking on the Living Spaces website because many people had suggested it to me. My parents also have a Living Spaces couch and I love it. As I'm scrolling through the clearance and outlet priced couches, I find one that is seemingly perfect. It was a really good price and it was able to be delivered same day, like later that evening. Being a first time sofa buyer, I didn't think about all of the logistics, especially living in this old building, like getting the couch into our apartment. I think I was just so excited to find this couch on the website that could be delivered day of that I just jumped the gun and bought it. We thought everything was gonna go perfectly. And then when they came, the movers essentially walked into the stairs, measured the space, and they were like, it's no cigar. It's not happening. It can't happen. The couch is too big. Basically, when they tell me that the couch is too large, they pull up on the website in very, very tiny fine print on the bottom what you're supposed to measure, like your doorway, the stairwell, for the movers to bring the piece of furniture in, which, of course, I totally overlooked. I didn't even think about that. I was just so excited that I thought we were getting a couch that I just figured, okay, if it fits in the space, it should fit through the door, right? I mean, that makes the most sense. I thought the living spaces couch was going to split into two large pieces. And in reality, it was basically the seats and then like a small ottoman. So it was the whole length of the couch. And unfortunately, that is why it didn't fit through our stairs because our stairs are very narrow. For all my friends fans out there, it was basically going to be a pivot couch situation. Pivot! 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 Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! 
and so I was heartbroken. This couch just seemed perfect. It seemed too good to be true and I was right. But I'm still gonna go ahead and leave a link for it in the description of this video because it is such an amazing deal and the reviews on it were great. Like saying that it was comfy, perfect for an apartment and if you have easier access to move things into your building or you have like a freight elevator, then I highly suggest it. So I'll go ahead and leave that down there for you. The whole issue of the sofa not fitting was no one's fault but our own and you know you live and you learn so for our next big purchase now since we do still need a lot of furniture we are mindful that like the boxes need to be a certain dimension to fit through our stairs it's really annoying but that's the sacrifice you make living in these old Victorian buildings in San Francisco. Living Space's customer service was 10 out of 10, truly. They were amazing. They were so patient, understanding. So thank you, Living Spaces. Shout out to you guys. I think before we even saw this apartment, Devin and I went to Ikea and we were looking at the sofas there and actually saw a few that we liked. Even if it has mixed reviews, it is more budget friendly for us and especially as a first like sofa purchase since we haven't bought one before, I thought it might be just a smarter choice to make. I know for certain furniture pieces, you wanna really invest so you can keep them for the long term, but especially since our space is on the smaller side and we don't want the couch to take up the whole living room like maybe the Ikea one would be a good idea. After all that has been said and done, in the end we did end up picking an Ikea couch because Ikea is one of the only companies or only like home furnishing stores that packages everything separately. Online Ikea specified how many packages it came in, the dimensions of the packages. So we knew before we even purchased it that it was gonna fit through our stairs. Even though I will say it is not the comfiest couch, it fits our space perfectly. It looks very nice. Honestly, I'm very happy with the look of the couch so far and putting it together was luckily easy because I have a handy boyfriend. I would never be able to do this by myself. It, I don't think anyone would be able to do it by themselves. You definitely need at least two people, um, if not more, to speed up the process. We were actually very lucky to find this couch in store in the Bay Area as well because if you look online, a lot of IKEA stock is very low. When I saw that this couch was available and there were only three couches, we booked it over there to IKEA and picked it up, made it happen, and now at least we finally have a couch and it worked out. That was my sofa story time for y'all. Um, hope you enjoyed that. I feel like getting this couch, setting it up, figuring everything out for the living room was kind of what took up my time this week. And we still need a good amount of furniture, but the living room is slowly but surely coming together. I ordered a rug on Wayfair. I don't know what happened to it, but it got delayed. Um, it ended up taking like a week and a half to get here, but it finally came. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up, roll it out and set it up. and hopefully Hopefully get our large floor mirror in tomorrow so I can show you the process of what we've done so far with the living room. I thought I'd show you how the sofa looks right now before we lay the rug out. I will also link this in the description. This is the IKEA Holmesen couch. I do absolutely love the sleeper feature. That makes it really easy to just pull out and make this about the size of a full bed. So this is very convenient for if we wanna have guests stay over and just as easy as it was to pull it out the same way, you just roll it back in. And now we are gonna go ahead and open up the rug, do a little rug reveal and see how it looks with the couch.
So we situated it to the spot that I think works the best. I put some frames and plants on that side to kind of hold it down and flatten it out. I actually really love this pattern. I kind of wanted something that was going to be different, something more abstract. I really like these neutral tones, a lot of nice texture, and if it does get dirty, you won't be able to notice. I think it does look nice in between the couch for now, and I think it will go perfectly with a lot of different things. So far, this is the progress that has been made in the living room. It's been a few days. I'm honestly still trying to figure out this whole filming, vlogging schedule because it's honestly pretty difficult when you're like busy doing things. Also, please don't mind my bare face today. Um, I'm wearing a pimple patch and I'm breaking out honestly pretty bad right now so I just don't think makeup is in the cards for me today but I wanted to show you how the mirror is looking I'm so so happy with the quality everything about this mirror the packaging how it came was amazing it's actually like a West Elm dupe that I found on Amazon this ended up coming out to like 180 like just under 200 which is Pretty pricey, but honestly good for a mirror that looks like this because the West Elm one is $500 plus. I'm trying to do like a whole little like plant next to the mirror situation. This one is like so wild. She does what she wants and she's her leaves just like sprawl out, but like you get the vibes. You get the vibes. So this was the piece that I was waiting for from last week that is kind of like tying the living room together. We do still need like a coffee table that will go like in this area right here. And then I do wanna put up some art on the walls like so you can see it in the mirror. And I think the living room will be just about done. Obviously some small tweaks here and there, but yes, I think showing this mirror is going to wrap up this vlog for my second video on YouTube. I hope you all enjoyed watching it and I just want to thank everyone like the support no matter how big or small means everything to me. Every subscriber, view, like, comment, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm absolutely loving decorating my space and documenting it all for you and I plan on continuing to do so. So if you are liking what you're seeing, if you wanna see something else from me, please let me know. I'm open to all suggestions at this point and I will go ahead and catch you all later.